Hey, I'd like to welcome you this morning again to the book of Philippians. We are at chapter 1, and we're at verses 27 and 28. Let's hear what the Word of God says, and then we'll think about it together. Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and not in any way terrified by your adversaries, which is to them a proof of perdition, but to you of salvation, and that from God. So this is an interesting line at verse 27. Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ. I'm afraid, brothers and sisters, that many times our conduct has not been worthy of the gospel of Christ. Our conduct has been sloppy, sometimes a bad witness. Sometimes we've been a bad witness by not doing right and helping others. Sometimes we're a bad witness because we have opportunity to speak and we don't use it. And again, we can certainly, if we're not prayerfully led by the Spirit, we can certainly overdo it and wear people out and, and make the gospel stink to them. But if God is our leader, he'll show us how we can speak the right amount, the right word in season, so that people are left interested and more interested rather than turned off. So let's watch for opportunities. So Paul wants to hear, he says, that the people are standing together, working together. They're united in the work of God in their local church, in their part of the vineyard where God has assigned them. And again, not to cut it too close, but to apply it to the churches today, is that the word that would go out? If God got a report, you know, report card on, on your group, would we find that the people are standing together in one spirit, that they're striving together for the faith of the gospel? Or would we find that, well, this week we have a church here, what? We have a church, uh, let's say a church of 100 people, and three people talked to somebody about Jesus, and 97 people in the church said nothing to anybody at any time about Jesus. How would that report card look to you? Would you expect that to be a church that's that the Holy Spirit is just filling lives with goodness and, and, and blessing that group? That's a group that has a problem. And sometimes our churches need a lot more of the Spirit of God and a lot more of the Word of God coming from our mouth. So may God be our helper and help us to be just a bit more bold, I'm sure, just a bit more bold than we have been. Hey, keep some glow tracks in your, in your shirt pocket, in your coat pocket. When you're at the gas station filling up with gasoline, give, give the guy next to you a glow tract. Hey, just say, hey, this is for you. Just give it to him. That's all you need to do. That's, that's something. That's a start. God will bless it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, give us opportunities, opportunities to connect with people. Many people are lonely and depressed and they have no hope and they've never heard anything about Jesus. It's just the sad truth in our world. Give us opportunities, Lord, to connect with people. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Help us to learn from the book of Philippians. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. May God help you and help me to be faithful in these things. God be with you today.